Hi, Scorpio. So I told you we would be doing your reading. Okay. I'm going to start off with an overall message. Spirit, angels, and guides, the high spotlight. What is an overall message for the Scorpios? I heard loud and clear. That's what I heard. Loud and clear. So something is going to be loud and clear to you. Or someone wants to make something loud and clear. Asset? I heard something about an asset. This is some Palo Santo, just to transmit that negative energy. Archangel Michael, I call you in and I ask you to please protect us while we channel these energies. Thank you. Overall message for Scorpio. For Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. Any Anybody with these placements in the chart. Scorpio, oh my God, oh my God. I'm getting something about a pregnancy. Somebody could be pregnant. With the sun. Yeah. Somebody's pregnant with the sun. It's an early pregnancy. Like, uh, you could be getting more in sickness soon. Okay. Let's see. The world. And the nine of wands. So, there's a cycle ending here. And it has to do with a lot of people trying to block you, Scorpio, or you trying to block people. I'm, I can't, I'm like, I'm not even able to shuffle. <laughs> okay. Yeah, somebody trying to block you and send you a text. This shit is ending, though. Five of Wands. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, it was a bunch of people blocking you, Scorpio. It was mad people. One, two, three, four, five. Five people. Six. Yeah, they were doing this mad sneaky. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to clarify with the Witch's Tarot. So somebody is sneaky, steady, trying to get away with something, trying to block you. What's the world? Scorpio, Scorpio. What's the world? Clarifying the world is three of wands. So someone's trying to block you from traveling or um, exploring. They try to keep you waiting. They try to keep you waiting. But they wanted you to be stuck. Okay, Ace of Wands. Somebody was trying to block you from... <clears throat> I'm dead. From, from Dick? I'm dead. This is what I got. Oh, shit. Five of Wands fell out on top of the Five of Wands. <laughs> five of Wands fell out again. So it's a whole bunch of fighting here. People trying to block you from... Um, Ace of Wands here. They're actively trying to do this. Okay, so with the tower. Ooh. Okay. What's the Knight of Wands? Eight of Cups. So somebody's refusing to leave. Yeah, that's why they were blocking because they were refusing to leave a situation alone. All right, so Nine of Wands. Yeah, and this has to do with um. All right, with the Nine of Swords here and the Two of Cups. So somebody's stressed out over a relationship because somebody is being a hoe. Basically, this could be a woman or a man. I'm not sure. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini. So somebody was trying to block you from love, the lovers. Um, I see they, okay, so there's an ending of a cycle of you waiting. 
and you're waiting for action you're also waiting um this this has to do with sex too the lovers this year so there's someone trying to block you from okay this could be from your divine counterpart because someone else is refusing to leave a situation but the tower is here more with scorpio energy so there's going to be a transformation when it comes to this knight of wands energy this knight of wands it was very impulsive flighty in the past the star the star fell out on um the lovers so i feel like something that somebody wants to heal a relationship they want to heal a relationship Yeah, someone someone wants to take a risk. The tower is coming. The tower is here with this transformation energy. So something here is being transformed in a relationship. Someone else was trying to block because they were refusing to leave this person. Um, and they were trying to keep this person in Knight of Wands energy. And they were with this Five of Wands energy with this conflict, fighting, competition, all types of dumb shit. What's the fool? Yeah, the, yeah, the Empress. So they want to take a risk with the Empress. That's the tower. So that's why, yeah, with this two of cups here. So clarify five of wands. The five of cups, but it's in reverse. More Scorpio energy. So somebody is no longer crying over spilled milk. no mm -mm. i'm getting that okay so this is a karmic energy here this is like a um yeah this is a queen of wands this is someone that was possibly quite possibly um manipulating your person um this is like siren energy so like seducing your person trying to seduce them trying to be with them um quite possibly trying to do love spells on them because you see the cups to me um is like potions and shit like that that didn't work like she's like you know yeah siren energy so this person was in competition with you she's a queen of wands yeah with this king of wands here there's a king of wands here and a king of swords right behind that pisces energy with the ace of cups so okay there's a king and queen of swords a bonnie and clyde energy Sorry, I got a text message. So the King, Queen of Swords, the Bonnie and Clyde energy that um, was working together in competition with you and quite possibly your um, divine masculine, divine counterpart. So this person, these people were working together trying to block you and they're in regret right now because nothing that they're doing is working because I'm getting that, the, that your person is the King of Swords now. He's cutting them people out. Yeah. He's cutting those people out. Um, there's an Ace of Cups here, so there's a new love offer. So what is the Seven of Swords? Why is it here? The Shadow side. Wow. Wow. Okay, so it's like basically somebody was... Okay, so somebody was dealing with their Shadow side. They were sneaking, lying, and cheating. And it's like they were over here basically trying to sneak with this other person. But this person was um, bringing them um, bad energy. They brought out their shadow side, their darker side. What's the seven? So this person was trying to keep them in their karmic energy. Yeah. And I see the um, eight of wands. I mean, eight of um, swords. What's the sun? They were trying to keep them from being happy. And like I said, somebody is um, pregnant with a sun too. What's the... Okay, so what is the seven of swords? The chariot. So someone is working on balancing the light and dark in themselves and the lighter and darker energy um, around them. So like they're trying to transmute that darker energy into lighter energy to, so they can be happy finally. Yeah, they're, they're fighting off something with the seven of wands. They're defending themselves. The emperor. Yeah, this is your masculine. This could be... Um, Someone that you have a child with already. 
Why is it Seven of Swords? Okay, so no. What's this? Um, Seven of Wands and an Emperor. Ten of Swords. Yeah, he's ending something. Ten of Swords. He's ending something. Ending a relationship with that other bitch. Those two other karmics. Because there's two karmics. That Queen of Wands. She has somebody else, though. His karmic has someone else. That, he's work that she's working with. That's why he's the King of Swords. Okay. Page of Pentacles. So there's a, uh, something here is ending. Ooh, with a family. Ooh, something ending with a family and a child. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, child. Uh, four of Wands, which is a marriage. So something here is somebody stabbed someone in the back. They betrayed someone in a home with a child. Something to do with the child. And honestly, um, there's only like two out of three things that, like, how can you betray someone with a child? You know, either you trap them with a pregnancy, um, the child is not theirs, you know what I'm saying? Or you had a child for money. Some shit like that. Some shit like that. Four of Swords. Knight of Swords. Yeah, the truth. The harsh truth. Somebody is like um, lashing out. Yeah, they're they're being very abusive with their words. And this is orchestrated. Spirit orchestrated this. Your God's temperance. The High Priest. Also, I'm getting someone trying to um, transmute their energy through music. Like trying to make a song. Like put all their shit in a song. The High Priest is, yeah, this is a very big spiritual lesson. About, the, about family. About legacy. About... Um, yeah, they're Ten of Cups. So somebody's ending one situation, one family situation, basically for another situation. Because that person betrayed them. Yeah, and now they see you as the Empress. These karmic energies were in competition with you. They were really sneaky doing a lot of shit. Um, quite possibly could have been doing love spells, all types of magic and illusions. To stop your person from seeing that you were the Empress. That's the overall message. So let's see. I'm going to get some oracles and that's pretty much it. So, highest most divine message for Scorpio. Angels, ancestors, and guides of the highest side of the Highest most divine message for Scorpio. Scorpio. I really want to, okay, so I'm going to get some of this, and then I'm going to get some mermaid messages, just because, you know, y'all special. I love y'all. It's like, I'm a Scorpio, but honestly, I don't be getting along with them. <laughs> I don't be getting along with Scorpios. I'm at the end, though. Okay, so let's see. Um, Metamorphosis. Ooh, you're showing up in your own reading. Metamorphosis, transformation, rebirth. Something here is... Is changing. Something is going to be transformed. Magical sh map shifter. Wow. Dragon's lair. Wow. What the? Bro. So basically, somebody that was trying to block you um, and block your transformation, block your um, happiness and your new beginning with your person Things are being yeah. She tried. She's a she's a shapeshifter. She tried to shapeshift into you. She literally did. She tried to change things. Okay. What's this dragon's lair? She tried to lure in your person. That's what she tried to do. Ride the wave. Yeah, she tried to ride the wave. Oh shit. Magic prayer. So I'm getting that there was a person that basically she tried to shift things over to her. It could be like, you know, like literally she's an energy shifter. She's a shape shifter. And she's, um, she tried to lure your person into her lair. So this could be a message for someone, um, your, like your person, your person is trying to like the the karmic energy is gonna try to lure your person in to the to their lair, um. So they can ride the wave. Yeah, they want to be on the wave. They clout chaser, 
What's the magic prayer? The magic prayer is basically your person could be praying to get out of this situation or you are praying for him. I'm going to get one more card. Okay. Goblins. <laughs> A bunch of goblins praying on your downfall, trying to ride, ride the wave. See that? A bunch of goblins. Fuck out of here. A bunch of clowns. All right. Yeah, Dragon Slayer and Goblins. So let me read from the book. I want to see what the Dragon Slayer is. So, you are always protected and divinely directed. You have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. You are about to enter into a dangerous territory, so tread carefully. Be aware of your surroundings. The path you are on now is one that will challenge you to the core. That said, parallel... Is it also exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before you enter into a, a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever? A life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling you, one that will test your courage. The choice is yours, but there's a greater, greater value in risk taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. So I feel like, like I said, this person tried to trans, there's going to be a transformation here. And it's going to be a transformation in a relationship. And this person that tried to shift your destiny and try to lure your person in and try to basically like, you know, um, th this is the this is the dangerous territory that your person was in and dealing with this. This person here is saying that you're protected. And at the end of the day, your person is still um, he's going to have to face that person. It's a test. It's going to be a test um, for your person. So he's going to be, you know. Um, surrounded by the karmic energy, lured in by the ener energy, and he has to have the courage in order to, um, you know, take the test. And whether he pass passes or not, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he's going to pass because this is the upright. Yeah, he's going to pass the test, and he's going to ride the wave, okay? He's praying his way out of it. What's the, what's the ride the wave? Okay, actually, no. What is magical map shifter? I'm gonna read this one. When the magical map shifter card arrives, it comes with a mission to make you aware of people who come to your life for, to impact your personal growth. Wow. Perhaps you met a soulmate who's the presence, whose presence invites you to be the best of you that you can be or someone who leads you out of difficulty and into a place of safety or success. Pay attention to those individuals who cross your path today and cause you to reflect on your journey. Be awake and aware. You'll recognize them for the importance, change, agents they are. Your whole perspective about who you are and why you're here will shift. Magic map shifter always initiates you into a better version of yourself. So this person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, you change this person you completely change this person's view of life and you tramp like basically this is what your purpose is as a scorpio you that's your purpose to completely transform transmute this person's pain or people's pain into um light that's your purpose um and and it's in a darker sense like you know it could be through a lot of pain a lot of loss a lot of restriction but it's saying like this this year your person had to learn the difference between someone that is coming um into their life for personal growth and someone who is coming into their life to um block them and like cause harm to them they had to learn the difference between someone that challenges them f for their own personal growth and someone that challenges them because they don't want them to succeed mm-hmm I see. I see what y'all saying. Ride the wave. You can be assured that you are entering a time when you can ride the wave of abundance. The tide has turned and 
you can put your surfing skills to the test. Everything that you know, all your talents coupled with your hopes and dreams will carry you forward. People and circumstances have come out to the ocean of potential and possibility to take shape of a wave of a spectacular, oh, spectacular, spectacular, sorry, activity. Know that you're definitely on the right path. So basically, this test has put him on the right path. Um, you have transformed this person to basically go on their spiritual journey, their path. Oh, shit, yeah. That's deep. Okay, magical prayer. What's this? 32? Okay. When you see the magical prayers, a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Spirit is always help, waiting to help you and heal you when you are in need. Thy will be done through me. Thy will not mine be done. When you are in need, that said, the best prayer is, Thy will be done through me, thy will and not mine be done. Conscious contact with your higher power is achieved through the ritual of prayer and meditation. Speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation. Surrender your wishes and desires to spirit. As long as you keep in conscious contact with your higher power, be assured that you are on the right path. So basically, you guys, that's what you guys did. In, in the midst of dealing with these goblins, you have prayed and meditated your way out of it. And you basically surrendered and left it to, to God, to spirit. And that's why everything is changing now. Everything is shifted. You have steered this person to the right path. I'm going to read goblins, even though we know what the fuck that is. Okay? Because we know what that is. Goblins are born when... You're wounded and something essential is lost in the experience from that point on as you forget your wholeness. They remain with you in the shadows. They are, remi they are to remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your own voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They, are, they hold you hostage through the low self-esteem, self-sabotage, the feeling that you are lacking what you need. If goblins play, pay you a visit, Know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's and that they're leading you into a potential reactive situation. The goblin's card appearance is an opportunity for growth, however, a signal that you must love yourself. No human without flaws. The goblin message is, to, is that you must release resentments and negative self-talk within you. Is the spark of the divine. Ask spirit to help heal. Yeah, let go of the negativity. Miracles can happen. Do do happen so basically it's saying that you guys are being you guys are forced to face this is you and your person scorpio you're being forced to face these darker energies these karmic energies these lower vibration basically lower versions of yourself unhealed wounds that you have acquired through childhood trauma through you know it could be bullying could be sexual abuse physical abuse relationships you know shit like that people undermining you Things like that. You're being forced to face this. And through prayer and meditation, you are transforming this energy into abundance. You're riding a new wave. Basically, so this is going to be a test. There's going to be a test presented um, to you. Um, old energies are going to try and come back. And they're going to try and test you to see if you're really, you know, that spiritual, that kumbaya bitch, da 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 This is your true test to basically show them that you have changed and not just show them you're not showing them the goblins or whatever you're showing the divine spirit that you know how to handle your um your new path your yeah your spiritual path you're showing these people unconditional love whether you know it or not so if these people try to bully you try to um come towards you try to uh throw your childhood wound throw anything at you that is negative just combat it with peace it's a test. Same thing with if your person, I feel like his karma is going to try him. They're going to try to lure him in to the darker, you know, forces or whatever. Um, low vibrational energy. They're probably going to lure your person in to try to have sex with them. Your person has to choose to do better. And they have to face that person. And they have to face the fact that that person was a reflection of their... Um, you know, their karmic energy in themselves as well. So, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Bye, Scorpio.